All right, I thought I would uh, review my little homemade anvil real quick. And also my little tiny uh, vice I picked up for five bucks. But, uh, I was getting a little bit into some blacksmithing, so I wanted to get an anvil, so I decided to just make one. The, the top here is forge hardened. I got it uh, non-magnetic red hot and uh, quenched it in burnt motor oil, just some old motor oil I had to harden the top. Uh, after that, I just got me a piece of, this is three quarter inch plate steel. And the body of it here is, I don't know, let's see. It's two inch by three and a quarter. Uh, just mild steel, just regular old steel. And the horn here is not exactly round or anything, but it worked for, for for me. And what it is is two two pieces here that are that I welded together. And what they are is the fork off of this deal, which is a machine molding clamp. It clamps the big molds into the machine to the press so I cut the forks off of that and made the the horn out of that then I welded some more steel under it for reinforcement actually I just welded it all real solid in between that's not more steel that's just all part of the fork here now that I remember right but that's all welded solid this thing weighs, I think, 25 or 30 pounds, if I remember right. I didn't do a build video on this because I built it a while back. But your hardy hose or whatever they call these, uh, one of them's threaded because of the machine's thing, so you can get a bolt, big bolt or whatever in it. And I made a couple other like tools for bending things in for it. But uh, other than forge hardening the top, the rest of it's just mild steel, you know, things I found and put together. So uh, it's pretty easy to build a, an anvil. I could have just went and got a piece of railroad track, but I like to build stuff, so that's what I did. And uh, so here it ringing. Now, if you take a Neil Dibning magnet and just stick on your uh, horn, it takes all the ring out. So I usually, I got a couple magnets on it. I got one right there and here and one on the horn. And you can keep one on the back here too. It just keeps it from ringing. I'll try that again and take the, take the magnets back off and let you hear the difference. It's way more blunt. Anyway, on to the little hand vise, or little bitty hand size vise. Not even as big as my hand. I picked that up at the local flea market for five bucks. It just clamps onto your bench. It's good and solid and heavy. I don't see a name on it, but I'm going to clean it up real well and see if I can find a name on it somewhere. It's well built though. For five bucks, and you can't get a vice of any kind for that, so. Anyway, thanks for watching.